Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. I have three DIYs for you guys today that are fall themed and two of them are apple themed. I know you guys liked my last video with the apples so I hope you enjoy this one too. I just don't want to do all pumpkin this year because it gets old. <laughs> I, I love pumpkins but I just think the apples are fun too. But before we get into these DIYs I wanted to say that this video is in collaboration with Terrarium and Crafts. She does really, really awesome little um, terrarium crafts. They're so beautiful, but she also does some farmhouse rustic type crafts as well. So make sure you guys run over and check out her channel after you're done watching this video. I will leave her channel link below and her collab video that we're doing together. And we just decided to keep it pretty simple and just do fall decor for this video. So make sure you do go ahead and check her out right at the end of this video. I know you guys are going to love her channel. So I was originally going to do three Dollar Tree DIYs in this video, but one was a major fail. So that's why you see the orange bucket to the right. I did go ahead and paint all three of these in the Waverly White chalk paint. Um, but I just left that part in there because I don't want to be like fake with you guys and act like all of my projects turn out amazing because they don't um so don't think that anyone on youtube is perfect i know sometimes you get the idea in your head like everything they're doing turns out awesome it's totally not the reality we just show the awesome stuff that we actually finally made but i have had tons of fails and one of these diys in this video was a major fail and that was just because when I did the stencil with my contact paper stencil from Walmart, since I had painted on the plastic, when I went to peel off the stencil, it just took all the paint off of that plastic. It was just like a slick, shiny plastic and it just pulled all the paint right off and there was no design left to be seen. So. I didn't add in all of the footage of that because that would just be boring to watch with no result at the end, but one of these was a major fail, but I love how the others turned out. I did make some stencils with my Cricut um, with some Walmart contact paper. I used to use Dollar Tree contact paper and I can leave that video long link below if you want to see how I make those. Um, but I actually started using Walmart contact paper after that because the Dollar Tree one kept leaving a really sticky residue all over my projects. and. They were collecting hair and all kinds of nasty things. So once I switched to the Walmart a duck brand I did not have that problem whatsoever anymore so I just get a colored one for the stencil parts just so I can see better what I'm doing and then I use the clear one for the transfer tape either one will work it's just easier to see what you're doing when you have the colored one um, so that's what I do and I don't get any more sticky residue and I will leave the SVG files linked in the description so that you can use them if you have a Cricut yourself. I do not know how to make free printables yet and I do not have time to figure it out. Um, we're actually going to be moving soon, probably around the end of the month, and we are getting married at the beginning of next month. We could possibly be moving within the same week, so my life is about to get crazy. Well, it kind of already is. We already started packing, um, but if you guys <laughs> want to say a prayer for my sanity, please do, um, because it's just crazy around here but i'm still going to try to make a few more videos before we get married and go on the honeymoon just so we have a few more that you guys can watch before the holidays start 
So I used the ink color in the Waverly chalk paint and then also lacquer for the apple. And I really love that color red. It's funny because someone said, oh my goodness, I was looking for the color on that paint forever and I couldn't find it because the color is literally lacquer and that's so funny because I did the first I did that the same thing when I first got that paint and um used it in a video and everyone was like telling me in the comments the color is lacquer I'm like oh that makes sense but I just used one of my black Posca paint pens to um go around the edge and I will leave those linked in the description if you want to try them out. They're really good quality paint pens and I used my electric sander outside to distress this just a little bit more. I did actually dry brush a little bit with the Maui Sand uh, Home Decor Folk Art Chalk Paint um, and I actually like how that looked a little bit better than after I sanded it just because when I sanded it it kind of put the red color all over the sign and that was not my original plan but I still think it turned out pretty cute. So moving on to this next DIY I have um, just that small little canvas thing from Dollar Tree and I did use um, another stencil from that I made with my Cricut you guys can find pictures like this online and just do like a regular uh, transfer with a pencil um, if you print it out on your computer or freehand a pumpkin. I I guess it's not that hard but I'm really not good at drawing so you can find pre free printables and things like that to use. Um, and I promise I will be making a video soon on all the different options there are for making signs without a Cricut because I know a lot of people do not have a Cricut. Um, I might even put together like just like a combo of a lot of my older videos. Um, you can go back and watch those too if you want to. But um, my favorite thing ever is making signs. I've been doing it for a long time, way before I had my Cricut. There's so many different ways that you can do it. So I will put together a video for you guys soon showing you all your different options um, for creating signs without a Cricut. So for this one I just used the pumpkin colored uh, Waverly chalk paint and then some Maui sand. This is the home decor folk art chalk paint um, and I am just using that one because it's what I had on hand but there's all kinds of different colors in the Waverly chalk paint that you could use too um, but this is just what I had on hand I tried to sand it with my electric sander but obviously it was not going to get in the corners so it wasn't working very well so I just went ahead and grabbed some regular old sandpaper and sanded that down a little bit because my distressing was like way over the top but I really love how this one came out and I already sold it So on to the third and final DIY. I actually made this one for my mom, which she requested from me. I found this bag in the Target dollar spot last year, or Bullseye Playground, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what they have this year, but you could make something similar very easily. Um, but with this one, I just went ahead and used some stuffing from an old pillow to fill it most of the way. And then my mom had these apples on hand. I'm sure you could find some plastic fruit at Dollar Tree or even Amazon or Walmart. I'm sure you can get it pretty cheap anywhere. Um, and then I just used some hot glue to glue down those apples. Um, and then I did use a little bit of raffia to kind of fill in the spots where the white part was showing. And I just added some more apples on top. And that's all I did for this one. So quick and easy but turned out really, really cute.
Can you do it again? Okay. Sing it. to the wrong one. There you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs like these. Don't forget to go check out Terrarium and Crafts. I know you're going to love her channel so much. Let her know that I sent you and uh, subscribe to her channel so you can see all of the awesome stuff that she has been creating and all of her new videos that are coming out as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.